Hello everyone, I'm Pan Eleven Tart, and in this video, I'll be exposing what it's like to run your own town in Bloxburg. Now, this is the sixth installment of my Businesses Exposed series, where I give tips and tricks on how to handle your Bloxburg business. Okay, so here I am at a public server, and I'm just gonna go ahead and say ABC to join my town roleplay. Okay, someone's ABC, actually two people. I'm gonna say I'm on pizza side. Am I on pizza side? I don't know, where am I? Yep, I'm on pizza side. Okay, the reason why I'm not inviting them right now is because I wanna tell them the rules first before I guess them. And they said, okay, we are coming, great. I'm just gonna wait here for them. Oh, here they are. Hi, you can park anywhere here. Okay, so one of the main methods on how you can earn money by having a town is asking people for rent if they want to live here. Do you guys want to live here? It's for $100 rent though. They said, oh sure. Do you guys want to live together? They're asking if it's per person. I'm going to say per house. Together please. Okay, sure thing. That will be $100. You can obviously ask for more money, but I personally don't. Oh, there's someone else over there. Uh, I personally don't ask for money in the first place. That's why, yeah, I just wanted to show you how you can earn money. <laughs> okay, I will guess you guys. Guest and guest. And I'm gonna give her a few town rules. So I said, please respect the town and the plot owner, please. And don't be mean. Otherwise, I would have to block. You guys can just make up your own rules. But yeah, <laughs> I think this guy wants to um, join our town as well. Um, I think I'm going to give them this house over here because there's two of them. I'm going to give them the big house over here. Hi, Angelina. I'm going to get to you later. Gold Dragon, would you like to rent here? Also, please don't enter houses that are not yours. So Gold Dragon said yes to living here. Um, do you want to pay rent for $100? What about you, Angelina? Oh, yes, please. Oh, she can live with me. Okay, cool thing. Also, while you guys are here, which jobs would you like? And I said, just letting you know, I'm not paying you for jobs since it's only a fake roleplay job because people usually ask me to pay them and I'm like, I'm the one trying to make money here, okay? Oh, what jobs are there? We have most occupations. Oh, so Venus said she'll be a cafe worker. Okay, you can both work at the cafe. Oh, is there another town across the street? That is so cute. So this is the cafe. And I'm also encouraging them to adopt someone or something. So that way our town will be fuller. Now, when it comes to towns, it's nice to invite families. So if someone's already role playing as a family in the town, you can be like, come join my town. You can be a family here instead. Which job would you like? Nightclub. Okay. Come, I'll show you. Not gonna lie, it's a job that's low-key um, useless, but like, you know what? If that's your thing, come, I'll show you your job. Oh, and do with the school. Oh, you want to be a teacher? Also like a teacher by day and nightclub person by night? <laughs> that's kind of funny. Okay, come, I'll show you the school. You know what's funny? Boys usually want the police job over there. I don't like to promote the police job only because your town will become crime ridden and everyone's just gonna start shooting each other and everyone's gonna end up in jail. I've seen it happen. <laughs> he will run the nightclub and Angelina will be the teacher. Oh, okay. Nightclub is right here. And also, please adopt kids to make our town fuller. This nightclub over here is pretty iconic in my Mayor Mom RP series. It's where my daughter Violet, she went wild. <laughs> okay, and then that started the whole like scandal thing. But yeah, what I'm trying to say is that if you want to add immersion to the town or if you want it to be more fun, you know what? Create a scandal. A drama, like protests or something, I don't know. But it sure is fun when there is drama involved in the roleplay. Oh, Preppy, is this a new girl? Hello. Oh, these are my kids. Yay, we have kids. That's so cool. Okay, kids, we have school at around 8 a.m. every day, but this can be like your day off or something. So I said that if Angelina wants to switch jobs with me, I can maybe be the teacher and she can have another job. Only because... Uh, well, she's your mom and she's like your old, your teacher also like, <laughs> okay, I'll do another job. Okay. What job would you like? Grocery store. Okay. Sure thing. 
I'll be the teacher. Another tip, you should create a Roblox group or a group chat if you want. Um, if you want a team running your town, it can be hard sometimes. So if you do have a neighborhood, you should gather people in public servers if you don't have any like players to play with. Okay, now I'm just gonna play along with the role play. I see that the town cafe is being advertised. So I'm gonna go to the cafe. Okay, hello. Can I please have a spaghetti with lemon juice or rather a lemonade? Sure. You can sit if you want. Uh, yeah, sure. Yum. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. Okay. W what's this for, sir? Oh, I'm the dad. Oh, okay. So how many children do you have? There's like one big family over here. This is crazy. Oh, three. Whoa. Let me know if your teen needs a job. She has too much schoolwork. Aw, <laughs> that's cute. Okay, so now we have two families living in our town. Um, I'm guessing those two are sisters or just best friends. Um, and we have a whole family with us. So there's like, what, eight people? in this town right now that's actually a lot i usually get like four people or something and that's also why i don't want to have a town that's too big i can hold 50 people in mine but if you want you can just make one that can hold up to 12 people because that's what a usual server is so our first day here at the town is ending and right now i just want to explore that town over there and i just want to see this very town over here now, i'm not sure if Angela Angelina actually made this herself or like I mean of course she made it herself but is it her own design I'm not sure but over here it has a daycare and aftercare oh that's so sweet I love this but inside it has a Bloxburg elementary school oh this is so cute oh they also have a laundromat oh they also have a bakery which can double up as a cafe i suppose they have a supermarket as well and a restaurant so they have a cafe and a restaurant so they have two whoa um i'm guessing these are houses since they have mailboxes oh my gosh and they have their own little swing sets and backyards mine don't even have that okay so if you are wondering what should my town have now with my town it has most stuff um but if you do want like the basics you should have a cafe smaller house to rent out a school a park grocery store or a hospital I feel like that kind of covers the basics of what a town needs. However, you can add more buildings, such as with my town. You can add police stations, nightclubs, laundromats, libraries, boutiques, gym, and other stuff that you want to add. I don't know, like a, a flower shop or something. <laughs> oh, Nezuko. Hello. Can I buy a house? Oh, you can't buy one, but you can rent one. Yes, please. Oh, yay. We have another person. Oh, she gave me 1,000. Oh, no. I only need 100, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> hmm, work at the library. Okay, you can live at the apartments above that. Um, and this is her house right here. And this is actually one of my favorites. I really hope you like it and please meet our townspeople. This is another tip or rather just housekeeping. Once your roleplay is done, please clean your town so that way it is pretty organized. The girls that used this kitchen were pretty clean. Like, I can't really find anything to clean. Um, but yeah, it's just nice for every single session that you have. Everything is in order. Ultimately, towns are made out of multiple businesses and they're also pretty flexible as you pretty much decide the rules in your own town. Now, I hope you learned a thing or two on how I manage my Bloxburg town.